This how close y'all be staring at the market, hoping to go in profit. Boy, if you don't Keep get your eyes on the prize looking at. I need you to push up. I ain't never putting money in here again, bro. <laughs> What's good, y'all? Hey, listen, man. We're going to talk today about price action, how to do it, you know, what to look for, things like that. But before we do, make sure you thumbs this video all the way up for the YouTube algorithm. And you know I got to give you a scripture of the day. All right, scripture of the day, Proverbs 10, 22. The blessings of the Lord make it rich, and he adds no sorrow to it. So what does that mean, J. Cash? I mean, you asking, right? That simply means when you do it the Lord's way, you don't got to be looking over your back trying to see who's going to come get you for your bread. You know what I'm saying? You do it his way, you're going to live a long, prosperous, abundant life. All right? So without further ado, let's get into the video. So when we're looking at price action, we first want to start out on the daily time frame. Right now, I'm looking at the U.S. CAD. So first things first, we want to look to see if we have a consistent trend pattern. All right. So we see right now that the market is heading down in a downward direction. OK, now, like I said, you're more than welcome to trade with a indicator. But a lot of times some people don't like to trade with indicators. So either way, but the 200 moving average is going to let you know the trend of the market. So we know that I went over that a million times. So you guys should have that down packed by now. All right. So the market did cross through the 200. You got a couple pips in a downward direction. All right. Another thing you guys want to look for is levels of support and resistance. OK, now right here, I see levels of support and resistance. How? Look at all these touches in here. If you draw an invisible line, you can see all the touches in here as well. All right. So I can go grab one of these if I wanted to. And I could just put one here. I can also find different levels of support and resistance here, right on the daily, right in here. All right. So I can grab another one if I want to do that. Boom. Now I'm going to let this play out. Now you got two options. You can either place your trades on the uh, daily time frame or you have the choice of going to the lower time frames to find great entries. Now, most of the time, I would love to be able to uh, place my trades on the lower time frames. Just makes a lot more sense for me. You know what I mean? So I can show you right here. Let me go to the one hour. So we'll let this play out a little bit. Boom, I'm gonna stop it right there. I'm gonna go back to the daily so I can show you guys something. Now, as the market is coming down here, hitting this level of support, we are expecting a bounce. That's normally what happens, as you can see here. The market comes down, bounces, should come down, bounce again. Boom, we got the bounce. Bounce, shot up, bounced again. Where did this market bounce at? Where did it reject at right here? The level of resistance. Same line, same line, right in the same area. Now I could even drag this down a little bit more if I wanted to for this rejection here. Same rejection, same area. All right, so now we have a zone here and the market is going. Okay, so now you can fully see it on the one hour time frame. So you always want to see, you know, has the market broke previous highs and pre or previous lows? Uh, you also want to look is the market pulling back into a previous level of support and resistance. All right. So, you know, it's, it's been pulling back in the same areas, previous levels of support and resistance. All right. So let this play out again. We keep letting this roll. Okay, so we're still stuck in this zone, still in the zone. Start breaking the zone. Boom. All right, now I got to come here to the daily so I can show you. Now what's starting to happen is that the market is now coming down. Peaked this head outside of the zone. Gave me a rejection candle. So now I can start to tell that the market is starting to get weaker. Why? How do you know the market is starting to get weaker? Based off the candle. If you haven't went back and saw the previous candlestick video, make sure you go back and watch it. When you get a long wick like this, right? When you get a wick like that, that's letting you know that the market is getting ready to turn around. All right, you see the wicks here? Turn around. Wicks, turn around. Y'all see that? So whenever you see that rejection, you see the rejection here on this candle? It turned around. Look at that. Market turned around that way, okay? Boom. So let me remove that. There we go. Now, if I let this play out some more, I'm gonna let it play out on the daily as well so y'all can see. Boom. Mm, mm, mm. Again, what I told you, the market is going to get ready to turn around. All right. So now what do we see? We see a, a dope shooting star here. Boom. Look at that rejection. Look how thin the candle is, it has gotten. I mean, that sale is no longer. 
I mean, we're going to the upside. How you know? It got weak. The sell was good. It was strong here. Retraced all the way back into the, and then it closed at this skinny candle. So that's how we know. So from here, this is what we're looking to do. We're looking to go long, all right? So you get your long tool. Let's say, because normally if I see this, I'm getting ready to enter. So let's say I enter here, okay? Now, I put my stop loss just a little bit under rejection. You could put it down here at the previous level of rejection, or you could put it up here. I will put mine about right here. All right, I will enter on this candle. And then my take profit will be at the next level of support. I mean, of resistance right here. So let me go about right in here. So anywhere from here, here to here and this is like i said this will be on the uh you could do it on a one hour you could do it on a 15 minute whatever all right and we can watch this play out on both so we'll let this play out all right and as you can see the market is continuously going up boom hit take profit already hit take profit right here right where i had it this was the take profit zone here so we didn't shot up, your risk to reward ratio wasn't that much, you got in, really got no drawdown, all right? Now, if you hold this longer, of course, you know, you're gonna, you gonna keep going. We got the drop, and then we gonna shoot up, boom. Now, I do wanna show you something, because some people would've got nervous, right? Some people, now, like I said, you could've had your stop loss a little bit lower than this. Remember, I had the, at the end of this box right here, this was just the, uh, the support zone. The stop loss was down here. So we never hit it. It bounced off again in this area and shot back up, okay? So are you guys seeing that? Market drop, boom, got that rejection. We went up, came back, retest this same area, right? So whoever bought in here, you would've got a little bit of drawdown, again, if you was holding, but you could've got in on the second position right here. So position number two, boom, we hold all the way up. Why would you be so confident in a trade like this, right? So for the for the first uh, set of people, you would've took profit right here, you know what I mean? Or low, right in here. You would've took profit right in here, right when the market shot up, boom, we took profit. And like I said, this is on the daily, so you could've held this for one, two, three, or two and a half days, right? And you would've had profit. Based off what we saw here, Look at those rejection candles. All right, so remember, you start at the daily and you can work your way backwards. And what I mean by backwards, you start at the daily, you can mark up the daily with support and resistance, right? No indicators needed, honestly. You don't need the 200 if you don't wanna use it, but indicators would just only intensify how good the trade is gonna be, okay? So we can go to the four hour, we can go to the one hour, and you can look at the entry from there. We can go to the, to the 15 minute, you will find your entry from there. It'll look a lot better. You know what I'm saying? It'll look a lot litter. You know what I mean? You get in, perfect, boom, we out. You were holding for two or three days and you would have had some great, great, great profit. All right, and so that's what we're looking at on price action. You know, so you always wanna look for confirmation, okay? So after the rejection, we got this candle engulfed, like I said, the previous candles. Then you got the second candle going up. So even if you got in here and took a nice little little scalp there, you would have been good. Either way, right? Then we got another rejection here, which is still part of this zone here. Rejection, drop back down, bounced off again, shot right back up. Got another strong rejection here, letting you know the market was gonna continue up. Again, I told you about those rejection count. They rejected, could have bought low, or you could even bought right in here, closed, got some more money out of, the, out of the whole situation, okay? So, things you wanna look for, like I said, you can always look for a doji candle, you know, a double top, a uh, double bottom pattern. And like I said, you can always go back to that other, the previous video I've made to go look at these things. Once you take your trade, you know, you can set your stop loss below the double bottom pattern. If it goes into profit, you can have a take profit at the next level of support or resistance right depending on which way the trade is going so that's where you will put your take profit at the next level of support and resist if it goes in profit you can move your stop loss to break even and then from there if it continues to go you can then move your stop loss up and trail your uh, trade and then you'll be able to keep the trade rolling from there so hopefully i explained this good enough for you guys again one more recap you always want to start with the daily you can find previous levels. Well, first you find a trend pattern, then you can find if price has you know, rejected and came back down to a previous level of support and resistance. From there, you can look at a different candle pattern structure 
that you may find some rejection, anything that's going to indicate that the market is getting ready to reverse and turn around. From there, you can go to a lower time frame and hop in. Boom, ride it to the next level of support and resistance, take your profit, and you are golden. So hopefully this video helped again. Lord willing, I will be able to see y'all in another video. Leg oh. God's timing is perfect. Patience has a purpose. Waiting for it's worth it. Right on time when we lay to the